It was recently highlighted on the Zorin OS privacy policy that they were sending out an anonymized ping or telemetry every hour via a cron job. It was a bit tucked away on the website, not very obvious, and there was no easy way of opting out. Well, thanks to the Ferran OS dev, and a little shout out to the operating system there. But yeah, Ferran OS dev highlighted that the Zorin OS 15.1 now includes an option in the installer to opt out of the telemetry. So I've downloaded the ISO file, chucked it in VirtualBox, and looking through the Ubiquiti installer, we have here the updates and other software. All these were highlighted by default. Just got to untick the install third party drivers. Oh, and the updates as well. I'm not really worried. But the important one here was don't participate in the census. So you have the option of ticking that and you can learn more. And clicking the learning more opens the browser and highlights the information about census. So, yes, it was anonymized, sends out an ID of your computer, a unique ID of your computer, and a user count. So the creators have an idea of how many people are actively using the operating system. Now in theory all this was okay, it was just the way they did it, they just didn't make anything of it and there was no easy way of opting out. That was all a bit uh, underhanded but now I'm happy to say the method they've opted for here is fine. So yes I can opt out and I'm just going to go through this installer and we'll see how it goes. It would be really, really easy to tell because there won't be any cron job. That's how they were doing it. It was a bash script run via a cron job. Very easy to look at. You can look at the source code. You can modify the source code. You could downgrade from HTTPS to HTTP, and you can see exactly what they were sending. And it was a post. It was a HTTPS post sent via curl. While that installer completes, there's a part of my previous video I wanted to issue a correction for. Now I've had to uh, do a correction via a pinned post, but yeah. That doesn't really cover it for anyone who already watched the video, but uh, there was this picture here. Now I said, what is that uh, bit of cropped off image there? What else is on there? And I thought it uh, contained IP, well not necessarily IP addresses directly, but geolocation. I was aware they were redacting the IP addresses, or actually, as it turns out, not even keeping them. The creator sent me a full screenshot now, and I'm happy to say that uh, <laughs> There really is nothing of any relevance that has been cropped off. It's pretty much the scroll bar and the last updated times. So, so I will admit I got that wrong. It's just, you know, I hate it when you see a cropped image like that and you're meant to think, oh, that's all that's there. Okay, there wasn't anything much. Let's see what the operating system is doing. The installer has finished and I've rebooted into the newly installed operating system. So the item I'm interested in is, I just need a file manager and I want to take a look at what is in the cron folder. Let's go to slash etc slash, oh, what have we got, cron daily, what is in there? Well, there's nothing about the census package in the cron daily, that is one of the locations they used. And the other one was cron hourly and the folder is empty. And just to make sure there's no hidden files, I'll take a look using the root user. And yeah, there's nothing there. So yeah, cron hourly folder is empty. And yeah, I don't think any of the others are used. So no, nothing in there, nothing in there in the monthly or the weekly. Honestly, I wish it had been that way from the beginning and there would have been nothing to talk about. The video would have been Zorin OS are allowing you to send anonymized telemetry and they're doing exactly what they say they're doing instead of this. <laughs> but anyway, They've shown a positive change, and I think they deserve a second chance. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.